The price of Bitcoin is soaring right now in the last hour and a half or so, hitting a new all time high of forty five thousand dollars, blasting up over forty, forty one, forty two thousand the previous all-time high on news of Elon Musk and Tesla, which as you likely know by now have just invested $1.5 billion of Bitcoin into their reserve treasury. Elon Musk, therefore, directly following the Michael Saylor MicroStrategy playbook. And I'm just going to kind of provide a quick reaction here because this is very recently breaking news. I'm going to give my thoughts about this. Of course, we predicted this in previous videos going back, you know, a month, two months ago. We suggested that this would be really that chain reaction linchpin moment that would catapult crypto into the next level and also rally other corporates to do similar things with their corporate strategies. We'll be discussing that more in just a second, but let's break down the news here to begin with. Altcoin buzz pump is coming, referring here to John Ehrlichman. And as far as I can tell in my preliminary research, he was one of the first to break this official story. So John here from uh, a little bit earlier, 7.53 a.m. today, new. Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, according to a regulatory filing. Tesla also says, quote, we expect to begin accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for our products in the near future. Everybody is covering this. Every single news outlet is talking about Elon Musk, is talking about Tesla and their acquisition of $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. So it's a great little bit of uh, free marketing, effectively, indirect marketing. Um, you know, you can read on here about what the strategy is, but ultimately we already know that this is the Michael Saylor playbook. It is the micro strategy strategy. This is really good news for Bitcoin, said Konstantin Anisimov, executive director of cryptocurrency exchange CEX.io. He said via email, adding that he expects the Bitcoin price to hit $50,000 very soon. It's entirely possible. As I mentioned, this is being covered by everybody. That was Forbes. This is CBC. Here we have CNBC. Tesla buys $1.5 billion in Bitcoin and also plans to accept it as payment, which is very interesting. So the company said specifically they're going to start accepting Bitcoin as a payment method for its products, cars uh, and other products, presumably as well. CEO Elon Musk has been credited for raising the prices of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, also including Dogecoin as we've been covering lately through his messaging on Twitter. Now, at the moment, his Twitter is actually kind of silent. Uh, that may change by the time you're watching this video, but as of right now, he hasn't been tweeting about this. And I suspect that's intentional. I suspect that he wants the world to see this as a serious move, not as you know some late night decision on a whim, just silly kind of meme fueled something over Twitter. No, this is a corporate strategy that the world must take seriously. And, uh, you know, not that I know Elon Musk personally or anything like that, but I suspect that that's his play right now. He's trying to disambiguate the official corporate strategy of Tesla from stuff that he, you know, kind of tweets when a thought enters his mind. And I think that's probably the smart play. Michael Saylor here is reaching out personally. Congratulations and thank you to Elon Musk and Tesla on adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. The entire world will benefit from this leadership. Absolutely. Cameron Winklevoss, Elon Musk and Tesla adding $1.5 billion in Bitcoin to its balance sheet is both visionary and responsible move to the Mars. <laughs> um, I have a couple of predictions here. None of this is financial advice. That goes without saying. Number one, we're going to see Tesla stock rise even higher. It's just barely up today, 0.26%. I think Tesla uh, is going for a wild ride. I think it's in short order going to be worth above $1 trillion. It's going, to, it's going to therefore join the likes of Alphabet, Amazon, Microsoft, Saudi Aramco, and Apple as uh, the only other companies in the world right now that are north of $1 trillion. That's going to happen, number one. And, you know, taking a look right now, Tesla sits at number seven in terms of its rankings as the largest companies by market cap. So Tesla sits at number seven. What do you think all these others are going to do? I mentioned Apple, Saudi Aramco, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, Tencent, Facebook, Alibaba, TM, TS rather, MC. They manufacture semiconductors. Berkshire Hathaway, run by our favorite Warren Buffett. Samsung, Visa, Johnson & Johnson, others. Do you think all of these companies are going to even have a choice in the matter? They will necessarily be forced into a similar strategy or they will be left behind. Michael Saylor was the first, and he will always get the credit for being that initial 
visionary. But Elon Musk is now the catalyzing force, the one that's really moving his weight around and that's making a statement here that the others are going to listen to. And look, maybe he doesn't stop at 1.5 billion. Maybe he acquires another billion dollars, another two, three, four, five billion dollars on the next dip. You never know. The point is that as Tesla continues to be rewarded now, both in terms of appreciating Bitcoin value and in terms of their rising stock, others will take notice. They will be forced to adopt similar strategies. And that's what will truly set off the chain reaction when it comes to Bitcoin's price, when it comes to cryptocurrencies. And I think many are going to look to secondary projects, tertiary uh, projects, products as well, like Ethereum, like some of the smaller cap altcoins, because maybe, you know, whether right or wrong, they're going to feel like, well, you know, we've probably missed the Bitcoin boat. It's now at 50,000. It's now at 60,000. It's now at 100,000. But hey, check this out. Have you heard of Litecoin? Have you heard of Chainlink? Have you heard of Polkadot? Have you heard of these other ones? I think this is almost inevitable. Um, The exact details are kind of hard to define, but it's inevitable that a chain reaction is going to begin now wherein the largest companies of the world will be forced effectively to follow the lead here of Elon Musk and Tesla. And you know what? There are worse fates out there in the world. MicroStrategy, of course, at an all-time high based on its Bitcoin strategy zooming out in the last year. You can see just how parabolic the price trajectory has been. So it's going to be good for Tesla. It's going to be good for all of those other companies as well that choose to jump on board. And you guys know, of course, the way money flows. First, it goes into Bitcoin. Then it flows into Ethereum. Then it flows into the altcoins. And then it flows back into Bitcoin. The cascading, that chain reaction effect now is only going to pick up. And therefore, we ask the question, will we see a $200,000 Bitcoin in 2021? The thing about this space is that, as you know, Michael Saylor has said before, there's a lot that you know, happens in a very concentrated amount of time. And we can go you know, weeks, months, even years where relatively little happens. And then all of a the sudden, there's just this explosion of activity. There's this explosion of interest. And you know it's characterized largely by, I've used the word uh, a few times now, by a chain reaction. Um, everybody's trying to mimic everybody else. And kind of that organic chain reaction effect is what can really move things very rapidly in a rather short order of time. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think $200,000 in Bitcoin uh, is realistic for 2021. I think with this development that, yes, it is. That's uh, what I'll say. Let me know as well if you hold uh, any Tesla because there's nothing wrong with diversifying. Of course, if you hold Tesla, you've likely already been very handsomely rewarded. Let me know where you think the price will go. I see Tesla going as far as its stock above $1,000 in the near term, like in the next couple of weeks, and above a trillion dollars total market cap also in that same uh, time frame. So let me know your thoughts and predictions about that, guys. Just wanted to weigh in quickly on this rapidly evolving story. Of course, we're going to have more for you soon. And in order to keep up to speed with all the news, hey, be sure you're following us on all the regular social media channels. Keep using our website. It is altcoinbuzz.io. Like, subscribe, share. And hit that bell to receive notifications if you enjoyed today's video. Best of luck, guys, if you choose to invest on this very, very green Monday. Best of luck. Stay safe. And as always, we hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.